How's it going everyone? Dexter Dog here and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and if not, I hope it gets better because if it's not going better, I'm going to shower you with a bunch of cookies until it gets better. I just got a new Snowball microphone from Best Buy today and I think it's going to improve over my Logitech C920 webcam mic. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. But we're going to get right into today's video. Today's video is all about those deadbeat scammers that we all love and hate so much. Now, they're not just a part of the furry community, they're a part of everywhere and everyday lives and we simply cannot stop them. It's very hard to do that and we try as hard as we can to try to avoid it. I was on the Amino app recently uh, last night and I was just rummaging all through the public chat rooms and I came across this topic and the topic was that help I got scammed. Now uh, I took a look inside the chat room and what I saw was an absolute destroyed person after what happened. I'm gonna put little pictures of the actual chat on the screen on the side right over here so you guys can follow along what it was and I'm just gonna go over it with you guys so I hope you guys enjoy okay the title to us help I was scammed and this is by uh, sent Fox if I misread that I'm sorry but she says a few days ago I commissioned an art piece for my boyfriend our anniversary was approaching and I wanted to get him something he would appreciate after searching and sifting through all many artists I had finally found the perfect for him now before you guys ever try to commission someone, make sure the person, one, has references. Now, if they do have references, you still gotta be careful because they could be fake images from Google because this is gonna go into what I'm gonna explain how I got scammed earlier on in the video. Reviews are really important. You do not wanna get scammed. If they have a bunch of reviews saying that they are bad, don't go to the person, find someone else. A quick PM and $7 later I paid for what I would soon learn to be an absolute nothing. After 12 hours, their profile disappeared, their raffles, supposed adopts, and characters vanished, and I was scammed. This is a common problem that we all get. Like, most times you guys want to make sure that you guys see your product before you pay for it. Some of them won't allow you to actually do that, but make sure you can actually trust them through reviews and everything else if they if the, eh. Worst comes to worst, you guys have to make sure. Reviews. This devastated me. I rarely purchase art. I don't have much money, but this piece was meant to be for a special occasion. The monster responsible had apparently scammed multiple other people, well, yet all of them, all of their warnings they posted were deleted for harassment. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, you know, this kind of stuff is very difficult for them to do, but we have to come to understand that this is an app and they have to keep it some restrictions. But however, they have databases, so they have. Ah, they obviously have to have some sort of references to this profile, and they are going to be looking into this very shortly. If I had read all their warnings, I would have saved my life the heartbreak of realizing the love of my life wasn't going to get the special anniversary. I had planned, if there was a system in place that caught scammers, she wouldn't have stolen my money. If this app and its twisted rules didn't protect her, I along with multiple multitude of others would have gone through the stress and aggravation of losing our limited time deal with the scum like her. Now, this is, yes, she's very distressed. I can feel her pain, but however, again, reviews. You guys have to make sure you can trust the artwork before you actually even throw money at them. Now, again, some of them might actually require money beforehand, but make sure you could trust them. Now, luckily she got her stuff through PayPal, so I was chatting with her and she was able to get a refund, but it may not be as easy as that sometimes. And the sad thing is, I can't tell her name. I can't give you her PayPal. I can, in no way publicly, tell you who this hag is. The second, I do. This post would be labeled as harassment. Everyone else who has decided to, who share their name and oppressors have been oppressed by using the very app that was supposed to protect them. What she means by this is any time that she would try to publicly uh, outcast this person, she can't because it would get her into trouble and along with the app in trouble. So, I'm writing this not to vent but to challenge you. I challenge everyone reading this to repost and copy and paste, save, make sure this is read by every active user. Hopefully our overwhelming unrelenting voice by heard by those who possess the power to make a change. Now this change is a trend that I'm gonna, we're going to start starting and it's going to be hashtag I was scammed. This is meant to spread awareness to people that are in trouble and get, have gotten scammed through this any kind of system where it be on furry amino but this is specifically for the furry fandom because a lot there are a lot of scammers inside the inside the furry community now what we're going to do is we're going to try spreading this hashtag throughout the whole community and try to get spread awareness and make sure people understand that scamming yes is a part but you can also prevent it now i want to go through what i had experienced and how i made me how it made me feel a couple months back i decided to um 
commissioned some fur gloves. Like her, I found an amazing artist that was absolutely amazing. Artwork was amazing, and I would just had to have it. Through this, I had messaged her. It costed ten bucks. I'm like, okay, that's fine. They were simple gloves, and they had fur on them and stuff. So I was like, okay, cool. Now this was supposed to be a, uh, a gift for one of my friends because she is a, she's a deep furry enthusiast. So I'm very happy to give it to her. Um, she sent me pictures of the fur. The fur was very high quality. It was not the fake, uh, the fake fox fur or whatever you want to call it, and it seemed nice. It really did. Uh, a few weeks later, I had received it in the package, and what I got was the absolute worst piece of shit I've ever seen in my entire life. It was like some cheap Mongolian fur that would actually just fall off with that I would pet to. Um, the person that I actually had commissioned, again, deleted the profile, made sure their existence was null and void. However, PayPal had my back. And they refunded my money, and I got to keep the product, which was absolute garbage that I threw away. So what I did was wind up getting, um, just some locket or something for her that was basically furry related. I want you guys to spread the word. I want you guys to tell us your scam story and spread the words so that way we can make this community as safe as possible for artists and everyone alike. Until next time guys, have a good day.